right, Improvisation Center back again with another introduction to another product that we picked up. As you all know, we love battery-powered tools. Lithium battery-powered tools are our life. We had originally cut our teeth on HyperTuff brand tools from Walmart oh, well over a year ago, back in early 2020. And I could say I was actually impressed with their longevity and performance because most all the tools we have are still humming along loud and proud and as you would also know those tools are 20 volt battery powered like many of the other similar tools out there and we eventually worked our way up to cobalt brand from lowe's no i am not sponsored by them so nope anyway the cobalt stuff uses a 24 volt battery so it's got a little more juice to it. Even the amp hours are usually twice as high as the HyperTuff stuff. HyperTuffs are typically two amp hour with some one and a half, some two and a half, but standard is two amp hour on the HyperTuff battery. Cobalts actually have four amp hour batteries, so you got twice the juice with four extra volts. Well, anyway, <clears throat> as you can see here, we have two weed eaters, a HyperTuff and a Cobalt. Unfortunately, the HyperTuff took a crap on us. The drive gear has some bare spots on it. <clears throat> it has some bare spots, and the bearings are wore out where the head wobbles and it's just jacked, which, I mean, it's unfortunate, but it's kind of expected after well over a year and a half of extreme heavy-duty use. So it's kind of expected for a quote-unquote generic tool to go out it lasts way longer than i thought it would but unfortunately walmart does not carry this particular model they only carry the weed eater that uses a single 20 volt battery which would make you imagine that it's going to be of half the power so i figured if i have to go with that grade of weed eater i might as well upgrade and get the better of what is relatively affordable out there which in this case as you can see is the cobalt stuff and like I said, with a battery that's four extra volts with twice the amp hours, it has more power. Now at first, I wasn't too confident that this thing would be as powerful as the 40 volt HyperTuff, but I was sadly mistaken. Well, I ain't gonna say sadly mistaken. I was pleasantly mistaken because this thing kicks ass. I mean, it's actually better than the HyperTuff in multiple ways because the HyperTuff only has a single string output whilst the cobalt has a two string output as you can see right here and it also has a feature where you could tap the unit on the ground while it's spinning and it'll shoot out extra string so you don't have to sit there and mess around with trying to advance string out that was one thing the hyper tough did not do even though it was supposed to it did not advance the string and i had to actually stop pull string out and then go back to work this one nope tap it on the ground and you're back in the game so like i said pleasantly surprised at this thing it was obviously a little bit more well in all honesty no it wasn't the hyper tough we actually got it on clearance for a hundred bucks and it came with the two batteries of course the cobalt actually came with two batteries as well they were nice enough to give you a spare so and a charger of course and it was like 140 something it wasn't that much more than the hyper tough so really based on what you're looking at for what you're getting it actually balances out so i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this thing a little bit get some grass chopped up and go from there
Yep, so there it is, folks. The Cobalt 24 volt weed eater. Kicks ass pretty good. As you can see, it chops up grass and weeds and trash with relative ease and doesn't skip a beat. You could keep right on going and run a fence line pretty quick without having to bend down one time to do anything extra. And with these four amp hour batteries, get a good run time with a couple of batteries. You could probably get a whole long fence line done. So, yep, I continue to be impressed with the cobalt stuff. More than likely, as the hyper tufts do eventually crap out or as finances allow, I will be getting more cobalt tools. And in the worst case scenario, we'll be moving the hyper tufts up to the garage to be dedicated to just being used in the garage whilst the cobalt stuff is for all around general use inside and out. So until the next time, I will catch you later and you know all the good stuff you're supposed to do. Click like, subscribe, notifications, all that crap and catch me on another video at another time. So see you later. Oh,